Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. Here's your host, Joe McNally. This is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and in this segment, we're going to talk again about line of sight TTL transmission at a distance and also using color gels to alter or match the color environment you're shooting in. I like these shuttered shops. There's a strong graphic line, okay? And I also picked up on the fact that there's some red kind of glint. So at ISO 200, which is good ISO to stay at because it really means quality and detail, I've got a 30th roughly at f2.8 and just the glimmer of red off of all of these shuttered shops. So how do I maintain that shutter speed and augment the red? Well, I'm gonna use angle of incidence, angle of reflection. I'm gonna take a TTL flash. It'll be my background light, so it'll be in group C. I'm gonna put this flash, as you see, there's a red gel on it. And I've also sealed the gel over the flash head. So in other words, there's no white light bleeding around it. It's all red coming out of here. So I'm gonna put this down the block and try to make sure that it has great efficiency by matching angle of incidence to angle of reflection right into my camera lens. So in other words, this light will be down the block and it'll hit the storefront and skip literally right into the lens of the camera. And it should take this minimal red glow that I'm seeing that's inspiring the use of this particular location and really augment it with artificial flash light so that means I don't have to drag my shutter or lengthen my shutter speed out to kind of get the ambient light because then I'm gonna get into a situation where it'd be tough to hand hold and also the model may not be sharp because the shutter speed is so lengthy. So what's the problem or the enemy really when you're trying to create a saturated color environment? Lots and lots of white light bouncing all over the place. This is a great flash, light shaper, but what's the situation here? It's a big expanse of white area that the flash is coming through and it's spreading all over the place and it's mitigating the effect of the red environment, the red gel that I'm trying to create. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a very simple thing called a fabric grid. This will Velcro right into the front of the light shaper. And what it does is it columnates the light. It takes it just like a honeycomb grid would on a smaller light source. These fabric grids will drop in over soft boxes, both big and small soft boxes, and take the light and shape it and control it so it doesn't spill everywhere. 